all sides claim victory, who actually wins? It's a question Catalans are asking themselves today. Winning 37 parliamentary seats, Catalonia's biggest single party is now the Citizens' Party of pro-unity leader Ines Aramaras. But the three main secessionist parties together won 70 seats, and so they hold the parliamentary majority. Catalonia's pro-independence Carles Puigdemont celebrated in Brussels, where he fled to avoid arrest on sedition charges. And he's made a new offer to the government in Madrid. I'm willing to meet Prime Minister Rajoy in Brussels or any other European state that isn't Spain for obvious reasons. I'm willing to do it so that we can address this new political era starting in Catalonia, Spain and Europe. It is an era presided over by political solutions, not by common repression, that we find ourselves in. The response today from the Spanish government suggests dialogue might just be possible. The person I would need to sit down with is the winner of the election, and that's Ms. Aramadas. I will make an effort to maintain a dialogue with whatever government comes out of these elections, but, as I have said before, I will also ensure that we follow the law. On polling day, voters of all sides spoke to us about wanting a return to normality. With the results now in, a straw poll of Barcelona citizens found dissatisfaction with the outcome. Without favouring one side or another, I think they've hurt Catalonia a lot with this independence issue. I think that the Citizens' Party, which won, doesn't represent the majority of Catalans. I think the majority of people favour the pro-independence parties. I don't think it's a good result. The leftist parties have been marginalised and I don't see a solution for the differences between two clear blocs. So what now? Well, the spotlight appears to be on the attitude of the new Catalan government. I would say they will slightly step back. This doesn't mean that they will renounce to the independence move, but they will, I think, take a softer approach. First, because they got uh, slightly less than 50% of the, of the vote, and I think that's important. Second, because the hard line by the Spanish government. These elections have produced a rather messy outcome with both sides able to take positives from the results, but neither side able to land the kind of knockout blow that they might have hoped for. Everything now depends on the secessionist bloc and whether they will choose confrontation with Madrid or compromise. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.